And now you'll see that we are looking at scatter plots as well as Pearson's R. We want to click on the one that's the weakest correlation. It represents the weakest correlation. And of course, zero would be the weakest correlation possible. Uh, stronger correlations would be uh, positive one, that's as strong as you can get, uh, or negative one, that's also as strong as you can get. So the further you are from zero, the stronger the correlation, uh, the closer you are to zero, the weaker, and that's the one that we want. So by doing this activity, you're going to become more familiar with how to read scatter plots and also how to get a sense of how they compare against a Pearson's R value. And this is one of those things that really practice uh, just helps you to get better and better at this. So eventually you can just kind of eyeball a scatter plot and have a general idea of about how uh, strong of a correlation it is. So we'll be doing about uh, 30 of these decisions. And of course, the faster you go uh, with accuracy, the better. In this case, our accuracy was 96.67%. Decision time was 0.15 seconds.